Like it or not, the future belongs to global citizens using network technology to collaborate. And virtual worlds will be one important tool to overcome not only thousands of miles, but cultural differences as well. Uh, hi, my name is Noha. I am from Ain Shams University. My major is the urban design and urban planning. And my avatar name is Walter Lily Memo. Using her avatar, Cairo native Noha Abu El Ez was able to connect with students from the University of Southern California in Los Angeles almost as if they were in the same room. I could work with my friends at the same time, doing everything together. Noha's team used Second Life as training ground to develop urban design concepts for a real-world site. A culturally significant one, says her teacher at Ain Shams University, Professor Amr Atia. It lies between two fantastic landmarks. One of them is the Great Pyramids. The other is the new Grand Egyptian Museum. This public space needs to be designed for different cultures. Atia and his architect friend David Denton got the idea to collaborate like this during U.S. President Barack Obama's famous Cairo speech back in June 2009, when the president pledged to create a new online network. So a young person in Kansas can communicate instantly with a young person in Cairo. The Kansas to Cairo, or K2C project, was born. Additional resources for K2C came from the U.S. Department of State, which had been successfully using virtual worlds as a catalyst for public diplomacy in the past. And so, for one semester, 30 avatars were flying around Second Life, designing residential and retail units while debating new urbanism. The revitalization of commercial streets now taking place everywhere. Correcting some stereotypes. Our media doesn't reflect who we are. Your media doesn't reflect who you are. And digesting feedback from their teachers. I really hope that you're able to get together with your Egyptian counterparts and walk them through your builds to date. Professor Kara Barteld ran K2C operations out of USC. She says modern architecture was the unifying language among K2C participants. We all understand space, light, and form. So a column to me is the same thing as a column to Egyptian students. Bartle students did run into a few issues. With our coursework and our schoolwork, there is still the real-world implications of time and schedules. I don't even like to chat online. The fact that, you know, you can talk to a stranger felt a little uncomfortable. But over time, the task at hand brought those strangers closer together. A public space has less conflicts. It's not that much of a personal thing like a house. This open space opens minds. This comes as no surprise to mentor David Denton. People tend to leave behind their identity, be it ethnic or nationality, and become citizens of Second Life. You quickly come to realize that human nature is pretty much the same. That's a pretty extraordinary thing. And just in case family or friends need proof that your semester of online collaboration was worth it, do what Salma Schweika from Ain Shams University did. At the end, when they saw my products and my buildings, uh, they began to believe. My mother was proud of these buildings. Every guest uh, come to our home, uh, she tell me, uh, show them uh, your buildings on Second Life. Great job, Salma and team. Maybe someday you guys could bring a bit of color to my humble home in the virtual suburbs. It really needs it. Until next time, I'm Draxter Dupre. Dupree.